With more stuff online, I'm Rick Moore, and we're at the office of Athletic Director John Delanus at Maskinomen High School. And John, thank you for inviting me here and letting me in today. Thanks, Rick. All right. Um, obviously, the weather has been brutal. Um, Schedule-wise, what has it done to you guys so far, and maybe what's coming up uh, this week or next week? Well, schedule-wise, has been a huge challenge. Um, for example, we had to rearrange our entire track schedule, and uh, we're going to try meets now this spring. Um, and our first uh, meet will be April 15th. So that'll allow for uh, hopefully tracks and uh, to be ready. And, uh, what's, a, what, what's a try meet now? What does that mean? Three schools? At uh, yeah. So we used to we we had initially we had dual meets mm -hmm. that were set up and uh, we had to go to try meets, um, which is which involves three schools. So you have fewer fewer dates. Okay. Uh, and that allowed us to push the schedule back a couple of weeks. So um, hopefully that'll allow everyone's tracks to be ready in time. So. April 15th is the first kind of like big league, league-wide wow, okay. uh, date for everybody. So. And now uh, lacrosse is underway already? Yeah, we had a couple of away lacrosse games last week. Um, you know, boys and girls played uh, North Andover, Andover. Uh, the boys uh, lacrosse team is playing this Saturday at Westford Academy. They have turf. So um, that's been good for lacrosse. We've scheduled some early season games on turf. Mm -hmm. um, on the road, so it's worked out pretty well. Yeah, Masco has a record of uh, going out of league and playing some pretty tough schools, so that's not, that's not unusual. What about uh, softball and baseball? Those are going to be the biggest challenges. Uh, right now, our fields are are under uh, are still covered with snow, so it's going to be a challenge. Uh, we I'm going to be speaking with the other athletic directors this afternoon regarding what we can do with the with the schedule. Um, right now, the uh, the MIAA. Uh, push back the cutoff date for the regular season a mm -hmm. week. So that's going to be helpful. Um, so we have a, a week longer in the schedule in May to schedule some league uh, and non-league games. But we're, we're behind more than a week. Yeah. So that's going to be a challenge. Right now we're, we're basically kind of looking at the schedule you know, day to day and if we have a game scheduled we're trying to move it wherever we have an open date wow. later in the schedule. But um, we have some ideas that we've talked about, nothing really concrete yet, but I think within the next week or so we'll have a better idea of kind of where we're going with those schedules. Final question on that, baseball, softball, possibility of double headers? Uh, nothing's, yeah, nothing's off the table, okay. so that, yeah, th that's a possibility. Um, I think it really depends on how the spring progresses. And uh, as you know, usually in the spring, too, you have uh, several days where it could rain for a week straight. <laughs> so um, if that happens, you know, um, it's not out of the realm of possibility. But, you know, everything's on the table as far as getting games in. And, you know, but so uh, we'll, we we'll know more after the uh, next ADs meeting then. Uh, we hope so. I have, an, I have a meeting on Wednesday, um, but I've been speaking to other athletic directors you know, on a daily basis, depending on what our schedule looks like, um, you know, for the day or the next few days. If, Like, for example, we have, uh, I think, a baseball game scheduled next week against Triton, and it's not going to happen, okay. you know, because both fields just aren't ready to play. So, we, we, you know, I'll be in discussions with, depending on who we're supposed to compete against, uh, you know, next week and taking a look and, and anticipating that fields may not be ready and I'm looking at makeup dates. So. All right, that's uh, Maskinomics Athletic Director John Delanis. With more stuff online, I'm Rick Moore.